you get people from a lot of different backgrounds doing it so I mean one I did here a couple of years ago we had someone who did embroidery and knitting and oh yeah you get you, you do get a lot of kind of tech tech geeks music music students do them but you also get people from other disciplines who are quite interested in using sound as art or or even just someone who's interested in learning about electronics what I kind of like about this is that you can approach it from the point of view of an artist rather than the, the scientific point of view I mean I don't the lot of the maths that goes behind it I'm not interested in at all so I'll just build stuff build circuits on breadboard or on stripboard and see how they sound and I'll swap components about to see how it changes the sound and kind of adapt things or bastardize things for my my purposes The instrument is controlled by you as the performer completing the circuit. So you have uh, this one has eight touch contacts on it, and you you touch two contacts to complete the circuit. So your body almost becomes a resistor. So you can vary the pitch by how hard you press it or the amount of moisture on your fingers. 